OntarioLevel.com at the Sunset Speedway for day number two of the 2013 Velocity Weekend, standing alongside the driver the number 14 limited late model, Thane Halliburton. Thane, uh, great season at Barry Speedway for you guys this year. Uh, had a great run uh, up at the championship standings. Talk to us a little bit about this year at Barry and kind of like a breakout year for you guys and the vast improvement you showed from last year to this year, picking up so many feature wins. Yeah, it was a good year, and you know, pretty much all the credit goes to Kyle Baker and and, and what he did for my for my chassis and and a lot of our bolt-ons. This one, we put some uh, bolt-ons on the car that, that really improved it from last year. And, and uh, uh, Kyle set it up. The setup was great all year. It was pretty much dialed. And if it wasn't, I gave him a phone call. He was here at sunset, but uh, one phone call, he told me what to turn, and and it was good for the second feature. So. Um, we always had a car every night that was capable of winning, and, and uh, we were lucky enough to get a few of them. Well, let's talk about this weekend here at Sunset. So you went to the qualifying uh, races yesterday afternoon. It's a tough field. Uh, those qualifying races were, were difficult. It's obviously a very different track from Barry Speedway. Did you find it difficult to have this car set up for yesterday afternoon? Well, we were here on Friday, and it was pretty good, but we had something start going away Friday night when we were doing the filming for the Jason McCoy music video. And uh, yesterday, it just couldn't figure it out. It was getting looser and looser, and uh, finally something broke uh, last night in the second second heat and I had to pull off but I think we got to figure it out I think we found what the problem is and and, uh, and hopefully we can get through the B here today coming to the B main is gonna be tough but it might give you an advantage in that you get a chance to get this car used to the track conditions from today it's gonna be different because we have five different uh, classes on the racetrack today you have the Oscar super late models on track to lay down some extra rubber is that gonna help you at all to have that extra track time yeah, I mean, a little bit, I think. Uh, we're going to have to use up our race tires for, you know, 10, 12 laps, and, and that's not going to be all that good. These guys will have brand new tires for the for the feature later if we get in. But uh, other than that, you know, we're, at least we're going to get a little bit of a hint of what the track's going to do um, later on this afternoon. Uh, hopefully the rain stays away and, and we get to play today. Coming through the B main uh, means you're going to start uh, at best in the 17th spot. It's going to be tough to stay clean in a big field like this. How do you do that to keep the nose clean and make sure you have something there on lap 75? You know, the biggest thing here is everything cleans to the to the bottom coming off four. So always having an outside option when you're in the middle of the pack coming off, coming to the three and four is key. Uh, if you got to let off a little bit to kind of give yourself a gap and get between two cars on the outside, it seems like all the action here comes off of four. Coming off of two, uh, there's lots of room. So the key to staying clean, I think, is, is coming onto the back stretch and giving yourself options. To get this team to where it was this year obviously takes a lot of help. You mentioned Kyle Baker, but there's a crew that travels with you guys every week, so I imagine you would love to thank them. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Chuck Kenny's my spotter, and uh, you know he's owned race cars for a long time, uh, cast cars and all the like. Uh, my parents, my dad works countless hours in this car. My brother helps out on the car, and, and uh, um, Kenny, he's my crew guy. He's been with me for eight years, and, and he's gone every step of the way with us, and uh, he's been a huge help uh, this year and every year of the past, and, and hopefully... Hopefully next year we'll, uh, we'll have a little more fun down here. Lots to do today uh, to get this car ready for the 75 lap feature. Thanks a lot for taking some time to talk to Ontario Oval Fame. No problem. Thank you, Clayton. For OntarioLevel.com, at day two of the Velocity Weekend at Sunset Speedway, I'm Clayton John.